Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material designing. This is Annie from Smart Herd. In the previous videos, we had learnt about the guidelines that are being provided by Google, the standards that are to be followed while designing the application UI. In this video, we will be implementing those standards and seeing the changes in the widgets with the change in the color attributes of the widgets. So, let's switch to Android Studio and begin exploring. For better understanding, I have changed our application theme to the lighter one. I have changed it to theme.appcompact.light. The little concept that has to be recalled is that the theme.appcompact.light is the parent of the super material theme. The app material theme will derive its property from the super material theme and this super material theme is the theme.appcompact.light. This base application theme that is the app material theme is only applicable for devices having API level below 21. Moving to the values v21 folder, the style defined in the styles.xml file, the app material theme has its parent as super material theme that is the app material theme there will be deriving its property from this super material theme. Besides, the features defined here will be only applicable for Lollipop and the Ever version. Now coming to the color properties, this super material theme is the parent theme for all pre-Lollipop and Lollipop Ever version. Therefore, this color need not be defined in each of the application theme, that is the app material theme for below 21 and above 21 devices because this color property will automatically derive by the app material theme present in both the styles.xml file. Moving to the colors.xml file, let's see if the default color that is being provided by Android Studio follows the Google standard or not. On clicking this image icon, we see the color primary is of 500 tint of indigo color or so as to say the primary color is of 500 tint of indigo color. We can change it as per our wish but it has to be of 500 shade. It can be green, red, blue, whatever you want provided it is of 500 tint. Next is the color primary dark. The color primary dark is material indigo 700. Again, the Google standards has been followed. The color primary dark that is the color of the status bar is of 700 tint. We can change it with respect to the color primary but it has to be same as the color primary. The only difference is in the shade. The shade of the color primary dark has to be 700. Next is the Ascent color. The Ascent color is the pink Ascent of 200 tint which is again following the Google standard that is the primary color and the Ascent color are contrasting in nature. We can choose the color accordingly to beautify our application and to make it more attractive. Moving to the activity main.xml, let's drop few widgets into our application and see what are the colors that are being assigned to these widgets. Let's drop a button, a radio button, a checkbox. I'll also give a rating bar. One from the text field. Let's give a edit text. Now we have an edit text too. Now let's run this application and see the various colors tints that are being provided to these widgets. And now guys, our app is up and running. We can see the default color of the edit text provided is the ascent color. Now let's start from the beginning. On clicking the radio button, we can see the activated state of the radio button has derived the ascent color. The checkbox also has the ascent color. On clicking the rating bar, this is also given with the ascent color that is pink and as already discussed the edit text is pink in color which has the tint of the ascent color. One more thing to be marked guys. On clicking the button there is certain ripple effect. When we click the radio button we see the ripple effect that is again of ascent color. Same with the checkbox as well as for the rating bar. In the previous videos, we had learned that we can change the color of this ripple effect using the attribute color control highlight. So now, let's apply few more color attributes in our application in styles.xml 
and then run our application to see how the color of our widgets changes. Now guys, I have defined three more color attributes in my application. That is the color control highlight, color button normal and color control activated. The color control highlight will be controlling the ripple effect color. The color button normal is the normal color of the button and the color control activated will control the properties of the widget when it is activated that is when the checkbox is checked or when the radio button is selected. Repeating it again, this color need not be defined in the app material theme in the styles.xml of any of the values folder because this app material theme is deriving its property from the super material theme that is applicable for all the pre-lollipop and lollipop ever version. Now let's run our application and see how the color of the widgets changes. And this is our application up and running. We can see the color button normal that is the normal color of the button is pink in color. On clicking the button we can see certain ripple effects. This ripple effect is color control highlight. We have given a yellow color to the color control highlight. So the color of the ripple effect changes accordingly. Now let's see what happens on selecting the radio button. On selecting this radio button we can see the color control activated being implemented in the radio button. That is the green color is being provided to the radio button. On checking the checkbox we can see again the color control activated being implemented in the checkbox. Besides the color control activated property, the color control highlight is also implemented here. We can see the yellow color shade on clicking this checkbox. This is the ripple color, that is the color control highlight. Same with the rating bar. The rating bar now has the color control activated. So guys, this is how the color of different widgets changes on applying the color attributes to it. There are various other color attributes that are present in the Android application. Different attributes are used for different states of different widgets. I would like you to use it yourself, explore it and understand it better. So guys, that's all for this video. I hope you liked the contents and the tutorial series on Android material designing. This is just the beginning. In the further videos, we will be learning more about material designing, the features that are being introduced with the material designing, like we will be learning the toolbar, the navigation drawer, the recycler view and the card view and many other topics that are being introduced with the Android material designing. Do share and leave your comment below the video. Subscribe to our channel and help us grow. I also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description. You can go there and refer to it. That's all for this video. Till then, this is Annie from SmartHerd signing off. Stay tuned and have a good day.